Burnout is something that everybody experiences when playing a single game or doing a certain task or a job for a long period of time. It's inevitable. So here are some tips that I want to give you guys on how to avoid it when it comes to playing a game like MapleStory because I think compared to some other games, this is one that can be very easy to experience burnout in. Tip number one, let's start with the simplest one because every once in a while I think that everyone needs this and that's just a break. This can be as simple as one day off, a week off, but in reality it's however long you need. If you you take a break, come back, and the game feels just as tedious or boring, then you need a longer break. If you come back and you're having fun, then great, you can get back to doing what you love. But there are more types of breaks than just going away from the game when it comes to MapleStory. You can take breaks from doing certain tasks or dailies. This means stuff like the Tower of Oz, doing your daily arcane or sacred symbols, or whatever it is that you're doing on a daily basis. It may just be really beneficial to take a break from doing that. Tip number two is to try out a new main or work on a bossing mule. Because it's always going to be beneficial to you because a bossing mule is going to give you more meso income which means that you can do more star forcing you can work on other bossing mules by getting more money for cubing or whatever you may need a bossing mule will almost always be very beneficial for you and even if you're not using it for meso income it can still be very good for legion or if you're working on a certain link skill but also whenever you're working on one of these alternate characters you may find out that you really enjoy this character's playstyle and it can potentially become a new main with so many different classes in maple story it can be very hard to find which one you're going to enjoy the most because a lot of them also don't really even open up until they're at level 200. We have some classes that essentially just use one button like Luminous or you have a class like Zero where you're flying around the map spamming different abilities. Every character has a different playstyle and it's important you find the one that you like because if you're playing a character and you don't enjoy leveling them up then I would recommend you just stop right there and either wait until you can use Bonk Potions on them if they have a good enough Legion effect to warrant it or you wait until there's a good event to level them up. Also, just because you got a character to like level 250, that doesn't matter. If you spent some time on them, you may not like them and that's okay. Just quit playing them, keep them for their level because obviously if it's like level 250, that's the triple S Legion effect level. But I do want to give a little tip to those of you with hyper burning characters that you don't enjoy. If you delete your hyper burning character, then you can remake another hyper burning class. The only thing is that if you took one of the rewards for hitting like level 210, you're not going to be able to grab that on the new one. But if you didn't grab like the level 221 you will be able to get that one so that's just something to keep in mind if you don't enjoy the class that you're playing you can always restart and reuse that hyper burning and finally for the last tip tip number three is to set goals for yourself whenever you're playing a game that's as tedious and grindy as maple story you should probably set a goal so that you have an obtainable thing that you're going for whether this is to get to certain stats to fight a certain boss whether it's solo or even in a party you're trying to hit a star force goal hitting all legendaries with your cube Whatever it is that you may want, having an obtainable goal can give you a lot of motivation to keep playing and can help you focus more on what you need to do versus what you can do. MapleStory is very overwhelming and as you've kind of seen, there's a lot of different daily stuff you can do and that can range from your daily quest, events, bosses, Tower of Oz, there's just so much that you need to just scale it down and focus on hitting certain things. If you have a goal of 8k legion, then certain times of year may be better for that because you're going to have different events that give you different effects. Super haste coming up is going to be absolutely insane for leveling up characters, but even right now is really good because once you unlock the ignition effect, you get a lot of XP really quickly whenever you pop it. And right now, every day you can get an extreme growth potions to level your 141 plus characters, especially for the ones that you don't like leveling. But there you go, a few tips to help you not get burned out, and I wanted to keep this video short because I don't really need anything else to add on here. It's just something that I think can benefit everyone watching, and if you happen to follow any of these, then be sure to let me know what you're doing. But those were the last of the tips that I had for you guys today. If you have any other suggestions or anything you want me to respond to, then make sure you comment that down below, and I'll see you peeps in my next video. Peace out.